In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Private Internet Access VPN. I'm going to be testing out the speeds, see which locations they offer, and test out any extra features that they might have. So if you want to find out if PIA VPN is actually a good VPN, then check out the rest of this video. Now before I get started on this Private Internet Access VPN review, I just want to say that I've included a link which is down in the description, and with that link you'll be able to get a huge discount on Private Internet Access. This is the biggest discount that you can actually get on this VPN. So if you want to save some money, then check out that link and let's get back to the video. First things first, when it comes to private internet access is I'm going to be doing a speed test. And first off, I'm gonna do it on my home connection. Then I'm gonna connect through the, re uh, through the VPN, repeat the test and see what kind of speeds I get. So let's start off with my home connection speed. So my speed test has completed and as you can see I'm getting 56 down and I'm getting 68 up and I've got a ping of 6. Now I'm going to connect to private internet access and then once this has connected I'm going to refresh speedtest.net and now let's run that same speed test and let's see what kind of speeds we get. So my speed test has completed with private internet access and wow, these speeds are fantastic. I'm getting 55 down and 68 up, which is very, very close to my home connection speed. So I'm barely getting any speed drop at all. Now my ping did increase from five to 11, but this kind of ping is still very low and you could easily use this for gaming and you wouldn't notice a difference between either two. Overall, I would say that they have very quick speeds with private internet access and these are definitely in my top five uh, VPN provider speeds so I would rate, uh, rate them very highly. So next up I just want to go through the locations that private internet access offers and they offer a wide variety of locations to choose from. They have tons of countries and it's also a bonus that they actually show the ping associated with each country. So the lower the ping the faster the connection typically and most countries only have one location to choose from but in some countries you'll find that they have several locations that you can pick from such as the US which has tons to choose, Canada has several Several, and then some other European countries also have multiple locations. This is definitely up there with the other top VPNs in terms of location choice. You have lots to choose from and they cover most countries around the world. So now I just want to go through some extra features that are offered with private internet access. The first is a VPN kill switch which is pretty standard with most other VPN providers and it basically just blocks your internet connection from connecting to the outside world unless you're behind the VPN. This stops any privacy issues from happening and stops you from from having any IP leaks. They also have a advanced kill switch which is a bit more extreme and then another feature they have is they call it PIA Mace which is basically just an ad blocker which you'd find with most browser extensions or other software. Another cool feature they have is a dedicated IP feature. This is great for people that hate solving captures or when you log into an account, for example, it asks you for two-factor authentication. That's because your IP is constantly changing. Well, if you have a dedicated IP, then when you connect to private internet access, your IP will consistently stay the same. So you can log into your accounts easier and you'll have less captures. You also have a split tunneling and split tunneling works by having some programs behind the VPN and other programs not. Let's say I have Chrome and Firefox running and I want Firefox to be behind the VPN but I don't want Chrome to be uh, working with the VPN well I can set that up in split tunneling and that way I could stream on Chrome or I could access uh, certain accounts that I don't want to access behind the VPN. Next up I'm going to be doing a test on Netflix and I'm going to see if private internet access works at unblocking geoblocked content and on top of that is not blocked by Netflix so I shouldn't get any errors saying that I'm behind a VPN or a proxy. So first off let's find Find a movie that I can't watch so I have Shawshank Redemption here and Shawshank Redemption is available in Canada, Germany, Belgium and Switzerland but it is not available in the UK. If I go to Netflix and I search for Shawshank Redemption then you can see here that it doesn't come up and it is not shown for me. So if I want to watch that, I wouldn't be able to watch it in my country. But now if I go to a VPN server and I find, for example, a Canadian server, so let's connect to Canada Toronto. And then once this connects real quick, I should be able to watch it. Yep, it's one of those servers. So I refresh Netflix again. And now I'm going to search for Shawshank Redemption. 
And now it shows up on this list and I could actually watch that movie whereas before I wouldn't be able to watch it. On top of that, I'm not getting any errors saying that I'm blocked by Netflix. So this VPN actually bypasses Netflix's blocks, which is great. So it's passed both the tests and you could definitely use this VPN for streaming Netflix. So now I just want to answer some frequently asked questions that I get when it comes to private internet access. The first is, is private internet access safe? And yes, this VPN is perfectly safe. It uses AES 256 bit encryption, which you will find amongst most other top VPN providers. And it's even used by the NSA and governments. It is a very secure encryption method and it makes this VPN very safe to use. The next question is, can I use private internet access for torrenting? And yes, you can use this VPN for torrenting. It is perfectly fine to use for any peer-to-peer -peer file sharing needs. And on top of that, from the speed test we got, it was very quick. So it's also going to give you great speeds when torrenting. The next question is, does private internet access store logs on any of its users? And the answer is no, they do not store any logs. They're not logging your IP address and log logging your history. They do not log anything at all. And you can actually go into their terms and their policies and read about it for yourself, which I actually recommend that you do. And on top of that, they're independently audited. So they actually have a firm which is independent, which audits their logging policy. So if you want to look into that, they actually have a report on their website as well, which you can check out and read for yourself. So for our final question of is private internet access VPN free and the answer is no, this is a paid premium VPN and for the quick speeds you get, the tons of locations and the great extra features, I can see why it's a premium VPN. Now I do have a link in the description which gives you the biggest discount possible. You get 86% off and you get four months free and you get this VPN for a very cheap price in my opinion. So if you want to check that out, then check out the link in the description and on top of that they have a 30 day money back guarantee so if you did want to get this vpn for free you could technically use it for 30 days and then request a refund and you would get the vpn for free so now I just want to give my final thoughts and opinions on private internet access VPN. I would rank this VPN very highly. I would put it in my top five and that's because it has quick speeds, it has tons of locations and it has great privacy features. If you're looking for a good VPN, I definitely recommend it. And with the link in the description, you actually save so much money that it works out to be a very cheap VPN. So that sums up my review and I hope you enjoyed. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and also click that like button. And until next time, have a great day.